creator doesn't do anything foolish unless you have done something foolish. Mm. And so we have been sacrificed for the redemption of the whole black race. And that's why I consider we are special. And we must walk as special people, not as snobbyish, not beating our chest, but humble and respectful that we are the children of the creator that the world has been waiting for for over 6,000 years. We are here. It has come full circle, 360 degrees. Dr. Milan, I'd like you to come up and stand with me. Thank you. You know, we, we have leaders in our community. We have those who, who fight the fight, who we have, we call him our rebel with the cause. So we want you, I just want you to stand with me. And I want to personally say thank you because of all of your efforts that you've done. Our embassy, which is endorsed by the Africa Union, and we're accredited to the, the Ghana government, so you would know that as the deputy there. We definitely believe and know that to move Africa forward, we've got to include the diaspora. And Dr. Melanta, who is one of our historians and who is doing incredible things here in Ghana, I'd like you to just to stand because I really want people to know who you are. We got, uh, 34 of us got our citizenship because of the initiative, his initiative and him not letting people say no. And he kept it going and we just want to applaud you. Greetings everyone and thank you all for coming. Yeah, um, I don't know what the big problem is with the citizenship, us being given citizenship. Because when we left Ghana, when our ancestors left, when they were taken as slaves and they left, they were Ghanaians. Now we grew up in a different country, okay, and we're here, and we should just be reinstated with our citizenship. We shouldn't be having to beg anybody or jump through hoops or anything like that, because we are deserving it, right? We've got. Guardian blood running through our veins, right? We we are here. We are we are like a skilled bank, right? We've brought so much skills to Ghana. We are not selling it, right? We are here volunteering, helping the children, doing so much for our community. I remember um, uh, the, the prime minister saying that. Um, he wants us all to be citizens, right? Um, citizens who are going to build our community, okay? Um, he doesn't want us to be spectators. Well, we're doing all what they've asked the citizens to do. We're doing it, okay? And we're building the community. We're doing so much for Ghana, right? But we, we, we need to be respected. Right, we need to have our citizenship so that we can go forward. Imagine we've been rejected in the UK or the Americas. Now we've come to Ghana, it's like we are facing rejection again. This is not right. This is not right. Okay, I want everyone here and everyone who's given their application in to rally behind Dr. Malana because so far. If it wasn't for him, I don't know, unless I'm gonna to go to the immigration and do an individual thing, right? I wouldn't know where my application would go, right? He's done this on our behalf. He's given a lot of his time. We, as a team of people, we are behind him and we are grateful to have him on our side, you know, but we must rally behind him and give him the support that he needs and don't let people come and tell you this and tell you that. You know, he's the one so far who's doing the work. He's the only person I see doing the work. I've heard of other people doing this and doing that. But so far, nobody can tell me um, that they've put applications in to the Ministry of Interior for citizenship. He's the only one I know who's done that for us. So we need to get behind him and support him. And remember that unity is strength, right? We're like, a, like I said, we're like a skill bank. 
we've got a lot to offer Ghana. Um, <clears throat> my name is Neville Buchanan, otherwise known as Gerald Madcon. And I'm one of the 34 who got their citizenship um, two years ago now. This is two years ago. Um, I think, I remember last year I said that um, the previous year was the easy, my easiest year in Ghana because I didn't have to go and um, renew my non-citizenship um, card. I didn't have to go and um, renew my resident permit. I didn't have to go and get uh, a tax certificate before I could do any of that. So, you know, the, the citizenship award in um, 2016 has made life a lot easier for me personally. And I'm sure, of course, um, it would make life much easier for other diasporans, or the brothers and sisters who are coming home. Um, because, as the brother pointed out, just simple things like going to um, one of the monuments or a museum or something, going to the um, Cape Coast Castle, it, it, it costs you more. To start a business in Ghana, if you're not a citizen, it costs you more. So when you're not a citizen of this country, going down the line, everything is made more difficult. So it's, it's, um, it's absolutely essential, really, if we have any long-term plans to do business here, to live here, that you must get your citizenship in order to make, um, make life easy for you. Now, I'm here today out of gratitude to um, Dr. Malana, um, uh, because I think myself and my family, we owe a great um, gratitude to him for his, for his efforts and for helping us to get our citizenship. I mean, being here and getting a citizenship is like, you feel you're at home. You're at home, you know. You don't have to look over your shoulders for anything. You know, you can go anywhere and, and say anything to anybody because you're a citizen, not, you, know, you have the right the full rights of, 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 um, of, of a citizen. So once again, I, I'd like to um, extend my gratitude to Dr. Malana, my gratitude and to my family's gratitude um, to Dr. Malana for the work that he has done and for the work that he continues to do. And I personally will continue to, um, to support him. So I'll just leave it here. Once again, let, let me um, thank Dr. Malana and I will I promise that I will um, give him as much support as I can down the line. Thank you very much. Right, my name is uh, Udasi Maria. I'm um, Naomi Palmer Buchanan. I'm the other half of this gentleman here who always, you know, sort of bragged to me that he's citizenship, he's a citizen of Ghana, um, simply because I wasn't around when he got his citizenship. I was in the UK. Yeah, so that's something that I missed out on. And I said, I will never miss out on that again. It's out of our reach. So a lot of us come in and instead of going through the, the, the right protocol, we go to the backside and, and do our business, you know, inadvertently. And it doesn't work because you're always sort of wondering, you know, who is looking, who is going to, you know, shop you or whatever. So it's best to go, you know, the, the, the right way. And the right way is citizenship. So let us, you know, all put our shoulders to the wheel and put our support behind Dr. Maglana for, for this um, citizen. He's working hard. And I just want to thank Millie, where, wherever she is. Millie, thank you so much for all the efforts that you have put in. And I really, really appreciate Dr. Malana because really at the end of the day, you know, Dr. Malana, he had his citizenship about um, three years prior, 2012. Yeah, four years prior to, 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 to two years ago. So he doesn't have to do this. He really does not have to do this. He had his citizenship over, over six years ago, yeah? But he's doing it from the goodness of his heart. And I really, really, you know, appreciate that. Dr. Malana, I really, really appreciate you. And I really want to thank you for all the effort that you've done. But, you know, there's always, there's always someone on the side who will want to bring, you know, negativity and all of that. But our shoulders are broad, yeah? Do I look as though I've got a broad shoulder? Huh? Right. 
I have a broad shoulder. I'm a small person, but in Jamaica they say, you're little but you're tallower. All right. <laughs>